This painting is a follow-up on how to paint trees. I did one on how to draw trees, but I have a an old barn and it's in the town of Wellesley, Ontario, and they've torn it down now. I actually took the picture many years ago. This is what the picture looks like. And I wanted to put the trees in on the left here. The paint is still wet, so I just want to show you how to take the brush up to do the tree. How I described it in my other video was to start at the bottom and come up the trunk, and as you're coming up the trunk, you're going to twist the brush. If you can see my fingers here, twist the brush, weave it with your fingers. And I'm using a very small pointed brush. I don't usually use pointed, but except for trees. Just picking up some paint. You start at the bottom and you come up. And as you want to twist it off, you start twisting your brush. And as you get higher, you go lighter and lighter onto the canvas so that you're not getting a really fat line. But what you are doing is you are carrying the growth of the tree up through the main branch. I haven't put any thinner on here. You can if you really need to. Please make sure that the trunk at the bottom is wide enough to support the branches up at the top because you don't want to have your branches heavier than the trunk. The background is dark and the light is coming from the left side. So I'm going to put a little bit of white on the brush and because the paint is wet, it will mix with the paint on the canvas. So it will not be white all the way up. I will have to get some burnt sienna out to put a bit more on here. It seems to be that the paint is mostly blue that I'm using, but that's okay. It's a nice contrast to the dark in the background. Notice that I do have a bit of an angle here on the base of the tree. They're not all coming out at exactly the same line. So it's showing that they're going down the back of the hill that happens to be there. So that's how you put trees in. The best way to figure out trees is to look at them when there are no leaves on it because that's how you can really tell where the trees are growing. If you have to put leaves on, you can then put leaves on the branches and have a little bit of your branches and trunk showing or put the leaves on first and then put in the branches later. Try drawing trees in the winter. It's really nice. Anyway, I'm Roxanne Jervis. Thank you for watching and do check some of my other videos out. Please subscribe. Thank you.